Once you park, go up to the first building and pay for your wristband. This will allow you to access everything the farm has to offer. There's local goodies, pumpkins, food and drinks, and you can pay extra to pick your own flowers to take home. With your wristband, you'll be able to take the hayride on a scenic drive across the farm, ending at the big corn maze. There's also a beginner corn maze that's included and a night maze option as well. Okay, we are officially at the start of the corn the maze. Sun. Actually, we're not at the start of the corn maze. We got a little bit of walk, but we just got off the hayride. It takes you up to the entrance of the corn maze. And I thought we would maybe, he said that there's two corn mazes. There's a beginner, a beginner? Wow. <laughs> beginner. Need to, you need to redo that. <laughs> beginner is an easy word, and I just made it more complicated. Beginner is a beginner word. <laughs> no kidding. So, um. He said there's a beginner maze and a more advanced maze. And I thought, you know, maybe for practice we would start at the beginner maze and then go up to the advanced one. But the hayride just takes you straight to the advanced course, so here, here goes nothing. <laughs> if you watched my last corn maze <laughs> trip, that was a couple years ago, uh, that video will be linked at the end of this one. It is hilarious. It's my first time going through a corn maze. I was with my friend Sarah. She waited until we were like in the corn maze to say that she's not good with directions and stuff and easily lost. And I was like, oh great. <laughs> so Adam's got a good sense of direction. We should be all right. But he's never done a corn maze before either. So right. I have. Now, now you put all the pressure on me. <laughs> I, I have one under my belt. I have experience. <laughs> we'll, we'll be fine. Plus I got the map. I know what it looks like. So, so if we do ever get ourselves in a pickle, we can refer to the map for emergencies. I find it interesting that you start by going through the sunflowers. It's the sunflower maze to the corn maze. I haven't even entered the corn maze yet and someone has already been eating corn when it said not to. <laughs> well, no turning back now. Here we go. And right out the gate. If you need assistance, there's a phone number to call. That's good. <laughs> so he told me that we start in Franklin. It's like the first sign. That's why he kept saying state. I was confused because it was. I didn't know that. Do you know that Tennessee was called Franklin before it was called Tennessee? I put, I'm putting the pressure on you. <laughs> right or left? Okay, we're going left. <laughs> Yeah, there's like no clues. So like the other corn I did, they gave you like clues to tell you which direction to go. But there are a lot more options too. This one, there's not quite as many options. You can make fewer mistakes. <laughs> we got really confused on that one. Because we thought we were right on a lot of the stuff and it was not adding up. Not taking us where we needed to go. Took us in a circle and everything. Who's been in here eating corn? Not you, right? <laughs> <laughs> you just got here. Oh, look, this is a three-way. You that's want to go left again? A, that's a dead end. That's a dead end because you think it connects to that? Uh -huh. It's a dead end. Should I run around in and see? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you stay right there. Oh, no, no, this keeps going. You think that way's a dead end? Because it is on the edge, right? Okay. We're going to cover every inch of this maze to tell you guys what it is. We'll give you turn by turn directions so when you come do it. No, I'm just kidding. We won't do that. We won't ruin the fun. This is Salisbury. Salisbury? What? The population of 81. It's now currently 82 because I'm here. <laughs> well, now it's 81 again because you're back here. <laughs> so are we going this way instead of the way we were? 
We're just gonna go deeper it's into a, this. It's a corn maze. There's there's no there's no cheese at the end. There's no cheese at the end. Well, then what are we doing this for? Well, I hear people talking. It's kind of creeping me out. <laughs> yeah, we could hear people talking in the other maze that we were into. This camera on my stomach looks like I got a growth. Like I got a tumor. So right or left? <laughs> like right, <laughs> right or left? It doesn't matter. We keep doing lefts. If we do lefts, we're gonna end up. We're not gonna. Right. <laughs> we're just gonna go to big circle. But maybe that's the answer. Oh, maybe this connects. Yeah, I didn't realize the roots of corn came up like that. Yeah, Guess what? That what? It circles around. It does. You think we can do the whole border? We're just gonna all encompass Tennessee. What if it goes all the way to one end and then it's a dead end? Then what? I'm really confused. How did we end up in Memphis when we went left every time? What are we at when we started? So going left didn't work. After a while here, we end up having to go back right. Now we're going back like the way we came. Because I think we came from down there. So I think this is taking us back to the beginning. I think this whole thing was a dead end. We have more than a couple options. <laughs> yeah, we went that way. And we came from that way. So we're going to go this way. Because we just came up from that way. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> we're at like... This is, yeah, yeah, Powell's Crossroads, that's the sign should be here. <laughs> it's like a perfect intersection. <laughs> uh, this is a dead end. Is there a thing? Nope. No sign, nothing. Yeah, there's no clues in this maze. <laughs> we came from that way, so we go this way now. It's the only way. We've narrowed that down. I say they did a really good job with this, like, you can kind of see through, but for the most part this is really thick, so it's not like you could very well cut across, or sometimes the corn kind of thins out and you could cut through. Well, that was a circle, so that means we have to go left. <laughs> the whole maze is a dead end, there's no exit. So we ended up having to go all the way back to the entrance. And then felt the need to, well, I felt the need to pull out the map and look at it. So, once you break out the map, you can't undo it. <laughs> Trying to make them, make them choose <laughs> which way to go. And they're like, nope. Tell us the, the real answer here. So, will I ever actually complete a corn maze on my own without looking at a map? So far, that's going to be a no. <laughs> So we're in the center of the maze, basically, and there's a big loop, but we're going to go the right path instead. <laughs> at what point are you ruining the fun of the corn maze by looking at the map? That is the real question here. Let me know in the comments below <laughs> if you think I'm really lame for already looking at the map like really early on. But I thought we went down every path, though we went down every dead end, but not the right path. So now we're in Cookville. Yes, that actually great. feels right oh, on the map. On the map, we actually are in Cookville. So that Memphis sign was actually accurate because I didn't realize where we were on the state. <laughs> so we're, we're working our way down to Chattanooga. Is Chattanooga the exit? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's Bristol. That that makes sense. Because yes, we're in the northeast corner of Tennessee right now. <laughs> no, I'm from NASCAR. It's only one way forward and that is out. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening here? Someone trying to plant more corn? Yeah, it's pretty corny. <laughs> now we are in Jonesboro. The limestone, Tennessee. Also did not know that that was the town. Interesting. I didn't know David Crockett was born in a city I didn't know existed. So basically one of the ladies went into the corn a little ways to take a photo. But another lady from the group didn't know that it was for a photo, and she thought she had to pee. So that's how we ended up on this conversation topic. Well, don't worry, there ain't no poison oak in here to, to dab no, off with. Just use one of these leaves right here, be good toilet paper, be brand new. <laughs> that's a little rough. <laughs> it's Scott. That's how my dad used to do it. This ain't Charmin, this is Scott. Don't use the brain one, use the brain one. Is anybody out there? <laughs> <laughs> she 
Like, you keep a head count, like, you lose it. I'm just messing with her. But she was taking me very seriously. <laughs> well, that would be a serious problem. Like, I think if I owned a property and I was like, I'm going to have a corn maze, I think my first concern would be, like, yeah, how do I hold people accountable like, and make I sure they're out of there? <laughs> yeah, so then at your own risk that they're not responsible. Why so. haven't we gotten to Knoxville yet? We went through Knoxville. That where that Tennessee River thing was? That was Knoxville. Yeah. Guess where we're at now? Dunlap. Dunlap. Oh, I didn't know it was the gliding capital of the East. That's interesting. That should be it. Hey, look, where where we're at right now? Plateau Mountain. Chattanooga. Hey. So many things about Chattanooga. I completed the. Congratulations! You made it through the maze. We've completed it. We have finally made it out of the corn maze. I don't know it look like it, but. There it is. Thanks to the map. <laughs> I feel like such a cheater. I'm like almost like a quitter, but but I think we're all happy to be out. And uh, we helped a few ladies because we started with them and we all took our own different paths, but then we all ended up back at the entrance together. So then I was like, I'm pulling out the map and they're like, we're following you. So <laughs> if you want to make this really short, just exit out of the front and then just walk over here to the exit. That That's how you really make it short. <laughs> Back to the hayride back. There's a little corn maze, which apparently we're not doing. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> so now we are back in the car. What did you think about your first corn maze? It was pretty corny. <laughs> Honestly, you didn't really care for it at the beginning because we uh, were lost in the beginning, right? And did you enjoy it after we pulled the map out? <laughs> it's, it's, more. it's better if you have more than um, two people. Yeah, yeah, it definitely was a lot more entertaining with those other ladies. <laughs> so, yeah, if you can go in a big group, highly recommend. But, yeah. I am kind of disappointed in myself because I really thought we could go a lot further without the map. This map, I mean this like layout, is a lot easier <laughs> than the river maze. Also a lot smaller, so I think that's part of why. The river maze, there's like a lot more options in terms of stuff, whereas this, there's quite a few, I mean, there was enough to get you lost, so when you look at the map of it, even with that, there was a couple that said, even with the map, they got a little bit lost in one spot, because there was like an intersection of like five different trails, so. Like I said in my last corn maze video, recommend bringing water. I recommend having a map. <laughs> First time, Flat Top Mountain Farm. And uh, you can pick flowers. I never mentioned that. We ended up not doing that. But it's like $12 a bucket. And you can pick zinnias. I got sunflowers. So that's pretty cool. Um, they got a lot of them. They're really pretty. And yeah, there's a lot to see and do. Ride the hayride. What are you going to say? I give it 4.8 corn stalks out of 5. <laughs> 4.8 what, what's, what's the point two? What do they have to do to earn your point two? Mm. <laughs> well you know I'm kind of greedy like that I want to keep my point two My two kernels of corn Two kernels but these are corn stalks you said <laughs> It doesn't have to make sense Okay <laughs> So he's gives it 4.8 corn stalks Out of five he's keeping two kernels I think it's worth five because I honestly I have no complaints other than we did mention that and we suggested it to the people working the hayride so ladies we were with suggested that they have like a coke machine in the middle of the maze I was like that'd be a great halfway point like in the middle of the maze have like a coke machine where I'd be like congratulations you're halfway there and Small. here's a yeah. coke <laughs> yeah like that would be that would be a great idea. Just, just put that out there. All right, so that is it for this video. More information, details about this place that I might have missed in this video will be in the blog post, which is linked below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Well, let me know in the comments below if you've ever done a corn race before. Uh, what's your, been your experience? Uh, have you ever had a map? Because <laughs> now I have yet to do a corn race without a map. And I think that's just one of those things where it's like you've been spoiled once and you can't do it any other way. <laughs> so one of these times maybe I'll, I'll manage to do it without a map, but today was not that day. 
But that is it. I will see y'all next week.